Hi, welcome to the Economic Week Ahead brought to you by Business Day in partnership with the Movement Studio. My name is Eniola Olatunji and with me is... Wasil Ali. This week, as always, we have very, very important, interesting data coming out from Nigeria and the US. The US. And starting today, we are expecting the Railway Transportation Report from the National Bureau of Statistics. Was you? I was personally surprised to see that we have status um, reports from like railway and all of that. What does this report entail? Well, um, the National Bureau of Statistics will be releasing um, the rail transportation reports today, and interestingly, um, last last quarter, that's the last three months of, of 2023, 2023. Okay. Um, the Nigerian Railway Corporation um, saw a revenue of about one billion naira. One billion naira. Yes, we so, make that much from. Yes, that's railway. that's just for passengers alone. Like the amount they see on passengers alone is about oh, one billion wow. naira. And for goods and cargoes, yeah, they saw about um, four hundred twenty-three million naira. And for other receipts, they saw over three hundred million naira. So uh, I'm not particularly surprised. You know, yeah. Because people Why did are finding, you say that? People are finding an alternative to oh, it's true because the increasing, increasing transport, transport fare. Road transport is crazy. Yeah. A- apart from the traffic that you are going to meet, you know, rail transportation is quite faster. Many people are trying all that alternative. alternative. And I think if um, the government looks into this sector very, very keenly, yeah, maybe we'll be generating far more than what than we that. And I feel like more people this year have even um, are more interested in going through rail transport. So yeah. we should see more revenue for the first quarter. Yeah, of for the first quarter. So the 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 report will be detailing what how much they you know they earned in the first three months of twenty twenty four. So yeah, the revenue should go higher than what it was last year. Okay, that's that would be great. Please, they should do rail from Aja to Ikoyi for me. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, so now um, um, the Organization for Petroleum and Exporting Countries, OPEC, will be releasing um, its monthly it, its report m- for monthly the month reports. of May. Yeah, this week. Now, this is a very interesting report because we know that oil is the major source of revenue. I mean, foreign trade, foreign trade um, statistics came out last week, mm-hmm. and we had a budget surplus. Yeah, we had a like budget surplus, and why? Because we exported more than we imported. Guess what? Our major export was crude oil. Crude oil. oil. So it was over eighty percent of our exports. Yeah, and so but there is a but because like in January we actually our oil production increased, but then from January after January we saw a decline in oil production. In fact, I I read somewhere that um, Libya overtook Nigeria. Yeah, that was in March. As largest producer. In that was Africa. in March, and I'm like, why? And why I did why think did Nigeria that happen? Has re- reclaimed that position. Now. Yes, in April we. We bounced back. We had mm. about a um, 1.4 million barrel um, per, per day. day. Yeah. But that is still very, very, very low, low very compared small. to what is expected of us, projected by both like Nigerian budgets and even like OPEC and o- even OPEC Plus. OPEC Plus um, projects that Nigeria should be producing about 1.5 million barrels barrel per, per day. day. Wow. And even like the bud- when the budget was done, we expect that we produce 1.7 million barrel per day guess what we used to do before covid guess the amount we do before covid uh, how much how much we do we did 2.1 million so now, per day and now, now we're we doing are. like 1.4 1.3 we're struggling wow. with, and like we need we so need what, to ramp what, up what are the what are the causes for this decline first of all old infrastructure mm. theft theft is the biggest issue oil like theft. the oil industry is is currently battling with. battling with. We've seen a lot of um, um, oil companies also exit the, the, the country. country. So there's low, even low so investment. That means that, like, there's low FDI coming yes, in. Yeah, there's low investment in that sector. But last week, the finance minister and even fiscal side had came up with some reforms to mitigate some of this um, oil theft and other ways to just ramp up revenue from that sector. Yeah. So we actually hope that in May we see another increase, increase mm. in oil yeah, production. Let's just hope. You know, we, are in the, <laughs> we are in the regime of hope. <laughs> we really so hope. We are, we, are, we are going to continue to just hope yeah, that yeah. things will get better. And uh, away from um, crude oil, the U.S. inflation report will be out this week also. Yes, on Thursday, mm-hmm. the U.S. will be releasing its inflation report for the month of May. Now, Everyone after COVID, everyone has been battling with yeah, that has been economic recession and all of that. The US inflation used to be at two percent max. Mm. 
Mm. Before, but now before it's now COVID, within three, now it's almost three, nearing four percent. Almost nearing four percent. Oh. But thank God for good news. There was good news in April. It's declined to three point four percent from three point five percent, and this is good news for even emerging markets because, yeah. like, we are pegged against the dollar. And aside that, because of the very high inflationary environment, the US have had to hold its interest rate at five point two five percent to five point five percent for six. Meetings like six of its. Um, so they've been holding. They've been holding, holding rates. Old, you know, we we've been increasing our yeah. interest rates, but they they've been holding because like five point two five to five point five. Mm. It's actually very high for them. Mm. So they they've been holding rates, holding rates, and at the beginning of the year, analysts and everybody had projected for like a rate cut by June this month, mm. but and because of all of this economic data, aside from inflation in Q one. They, are, they had a lower GDP than yeah, expected. Yeah. But like May and April came out with some good results. So analysts project that in September, by September, we see rates cuts. But I also expect that there will be a, a decrease in inflation for the US in May. So yeah, we, we, we imagine markets are yearning for We're yearning for it. That's we, the only way. That's the only way we can see can find their ways into our country. Yeah, <laughs> All right. So, um, Similarly, away from US, um, obviously US inflation cooled and Nigeria last in, month. Yes, well, like, but Nigeria's inflation has, as you know, has been increasing for the yeah, 16th consecutive ye- time. Year on year. year, on year, year on year. But last month we saw a decrease month on month. Monthly, yes. But we 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 don't know how much um, the country can sustain this, but we hope that it it follows this. Yeah, point. I think it might just continue on. In so this Nigeria, trend. Nigeria's inflation has been on the increase. Yeah. It's it rose to thirty three point six nine percent in April, um, and full inflation, Isn't which fifty percent of Nigerian inflation, also is you know over forty percent now. So and this calls for a lot of um, effort from the fiscal side because the monetary side have been they've done all their best, quite a employed all their tools, tools. yeah, <laughs> um, increased interest rate by about combined seven hundred and fifty basis points. You know, four hundred in, in, Ma- in, Feb- in March, uh, another two hundred. Then, then of recent in May, another hundred and fifty pieces. So putting the uh, country's NPR at twenty six point two five percent. So and that's a high. record, mm-hmm. a record high. That is very you high. Know, inflation is at a record high, twenty eight year high. <laughs> uh, our NPR is also breaking record. We are breaking. Records. We are really breaking records, though. You like know. it's where we're supposed to be breaking records, like oil production. But it's not. It's not positive. <laughs> we're not actually. even seeing it there. So and the, the minister um, of finance, Wale Adun, said um, the government is making efforts to ensure that inflation cools by you know um, ramping up efforts. In the agricultural sector, you know, improving agricultural yeah. output, you know, so because fifty percent of our inflation is affected by food, food, and so food crisis and all of that. And the the, the thing with food food inflation is because of the insecurity also in mm-hmm. the north. Like people can't farm as much as they. Yeah. Do you know, like every time I go on social media, I can almost bet that I would see somebody talking about the price of tomato. I'm Pepe. I'm, like, I'm ju- like everybody is screaming. Yesterday, I saw somebody making soup with cucumber. Oh, I, well. like cucumber. <laughs> everybody is finding. Everybody is looking for ways. Yes, to <laughs> like uh, to cope. And uh, uh, of course, he, Gary is also on the rise. You know, <laughs> the 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 go to food. The food of the masses like, now very I'm expensive. I'm sure Gary, a plastic wire is heading towards four thousand naira. I even right saw now. four five. Somewhere. Four five. Yes. Ah. But see, let's, so let's, inflation, let's, let's inflation is taking a toll see, we on would be every, here all day every fabric of our economy. If we talk about inflation. All right, so um, let's away from inflation now. Uh, the World Bank would also be releasing um, an amount, you know. Yeah, so Nigeria. the World Bank will be meeting on th- the thirteenth of June, which is um, Wednesday this week. Yeah, and we are expecting that they approve a loan of two point five billion dollars to Nigeria. That, that would help ease. See, the naira, the the naira the naira. would if the naira doesn't bounce back when we get that money. Then, then <laughs> only deliverance can help the naira <laughs> this time around. So, but do you know the cre- the most interesting part of this loan is the rates at which we are getting it. Yeah, guess what the rates is? Well, I, I would I would take a wide guess of about. Two uh, percent, less than that. Oh, we're getting the the loan at one percent. That's almost interest. free. Almost free. That's how the uh, minister always refers to it, f- like f- almost a f- like free loan. But yes, we are very hopeful that we get this amount from the World Bank. It would really, really 
ease the, the pressure problem, on the Naira. Yeah, I know. So now back to the Naira. The Naira. <laughs> the Naira has been going back and forth, fluctuating, and has been affecting it quite a number of like things. Like it's really... For Personally, for companies, for... And, Everybody. You know, so I read somewhere that one of the reasons why multinationals are exiting Nigeria is because of the exchange rate crisis. You know, it's, it's taking a toll on their businesses. I think last week, um, Business did an analysis on the on the um, interest expense of the top 30 companies listed on the stock exchange. And we saw that the interest expense, which is the the amounts that they use in repaying loans had increased by over a hundred percent. And that's because first of because of the rate hike, obviously. Mm. So like interest on their loans and or their borrowings rather has increased. But aside from their borrowings, some some companies actually have debt in foreign currency. Oh, Imagine so like I borrowed money to like um for production last year at four hundred Naira, Naira per dollar. dollar. And now I have to pay 1400 per dollar. That would be that would be very be crazy for me. Yeah. So we expect we expect that the Naira would um, ease following the approval of the loan. If we open, <laughs> let's open it, we get Many analysts loan. have predicted that the Naira will stabilize around 1350 and 1450 RMB and Fitch pro yeah. projected that by the end of the year Naira should stabilize. Yeah, so let's, let's just Naira. hope that that happens. Yeah. So that will be it um, for today. Uh, for more analysis on our stories, you can visit our website at www.businessday.ng and follow us on all our social media platforms at businessdayng. My name still remains Wasiu Ali. And I am Eniola Olatunji. See you next week. For more in-depth analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.